I'm so curious about your time when you did the um, X Files episode that Vince Gilligan had written, and this was like late '90s, like prior to Malcolm in the Middle, I believe. And I'm wondering if you had spent time with him on set, like sometimes the writers are there, sometimes they're not, like if you and Vince had really interacted or if that was, you know, the early seeds of him like locking you in for later or or it was just like a yeah. small chance that you were together for that episode. I always tell young actors that it takes talent, perseverance, patience and luck to have a career in your chosen profession. And luck is the X factor. You have no idea when it's gonna come, but you have to be prepared for it when it comes. That was a lucky break for me. Uh, I had just finished doing a movie that I wrote and directed, and I was just back in Los Angeles for three days before my agent called and said, there's there's an audition for X-Files, do you wanna do it? And I was broken, yes, uh, let me do that. Um, and that was the one I got, written by Vince Gilligan, he was on the set. We met and talked several times. But then you're right. Uh, eight years of Malcolm in the Middle prevented anything from going on. And then the year Malcolm finished uh, production, that same year, maybe five months later, my agent gets a call and says, do you remember a guy named Vince Gilligan? I said, no. <laughs> and I said, uh, well, he's, he was he wrote and produced the, the X-Files that you did. I go, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I do kind of vaguely remember him. And I said, well, he wants to see you for this new project that he wrote called Breaking Bad. And I said, what does that mean? She goes, I don't know. No one knows. <laughs> well, what, don't worry about it. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Just go in. <laughs> I was like, OK. So I read it. And Breaking Bad, the pilot episode, was really the best hour-long pilot I had ever read. And yeah. so I really pushed and went after that strongly. And he was my champion to get that role of Walter White. Wow. And the, I mean, the other thing is, you know, what if you had been in a bad mood that day or when yeah. you, you know, when you, when you were working on, on the X-Files or, you know, what if you just complained about all the carbon monoxide coming into the set <laughs> or just been really difficult, but it honestly, it would have been a very different trajectory. He would have thought, oh, that guy was not so easy to get along with. You know what I mean? I think that the, uh, well, you know, you're well served by being somebody that everybody really enjoys working with. Well, I could, Jess, I mean, that's, this is part of your establishing a foundation of your comportment and how you work. Your reputation is being developed every day. So I really, I learned from great people, um, Dick Van Dyke and, and, um, James Garner, Tom Hanks, these people behaved themselves so impeccably uh, on the set and, and were kind and generous and respectful. They did their great work and they went home. And I thought, that's what I wanna do. And so I teach young kids, I said, it's not just enough to be good. You have to be kind as well. So if that, or you will be found out. Well, you've given us a lot to think about around here. We're going <laughs> to change our ways, Brian. <laughs> I wasn't referring to the Jess Cagle show. <laughs>